Okay. This is my first video in a series of videos on how to use Raspberry Pi microcontrollers in complex mechatronics and machine learning projects. In this video, I will explain how to set up a Raspberry Pi microcontroller such that it can be easily used to send control signals to mechatronic components and to read sensor data. Furthermore, I will demonstrate how to implement a simple LED blink code. So unlike Arduino microcontrollers, Raspberry Pi microcontrollers come without a framework for easy access to input-output pins. So here are the input-output pins of the uh, Raspberry Pi microcontroller and here are the input-output pins of the Arduino microcontroller. To establish such a framework, we will need a cobbler, a ribbon cable and a breadboard. Furthermore, we will need to install a wiring pi library which will enable us to control the input-output pins using the C code. So here is the circuit sketch. The circuit consists of a LED diode, 560 ohm resistor. We send control signals from GPIO 17 pin and the circuit is grounded uh, to ground pin on the cobbler. In order to send and receive control voltages we need uh, an appropriate library. So wiring pi is a pin based general purpose input output access library written in C. One of the main advantages of this library is that its commands resemble Arduino commands. So here is a C code for controlling the circuit voltage. So what is interesting about this code? Basically you can see that basic commands correspond to basic Arduino commands. So for example on line 5, here's the line 5, we set the pin 0 to be an output pin, that is, we are going to send voltage through pin 0. Now, the pin 0 corresponds to GPIO 17 on the cobbler. So, basically, this infinite while loop is used to uh, send control voltages to LED diode and consequently LED diode will blink. So what do we do? On line 8 we send high voltage, we wait for 0 0.5 seconds, then we send low voltage and we wait for an additional 0 .5, 0 0.5 seconds. And consequently the LED diode will, will blink with a period of 0 0.5 seconds. So the next step is to compile the code. So here is our Raspberry Pi computer screen. Here is the code and we saved the code in the file test1c. With the following line in the terminal, in the Linux terminal, we are going to compile the code. So G++ is the name of the compiler. Test1c is the name of the source file. Uh, this parameter over here links the library and uh, this parameter here to get, together with this name uh, sets the name of the executable output file so if you execute this line the code is compiled now to call the executable file we will type the following and as a result our LED diode blinks